Good Thursday morning. It is 10.58. Gotta <sighs> clean up my mess. I took that big monstrosity uh, transformer apart because my shins are all beat to hell, so I got mad. It took me about a half hour. Had 116 pounds of steel and 34 pounds of copper out of it. But my yard will buy this copper here. It has number one, so there's a little bit. I had to go through this, I had to clean it a little bit and take this stuff out because this is number two. But there ain't very much of that at all. Maybe a pound. <sighs> Then I have to get this cleaned up and organized. Get this thing taken apart, get it out of my way. <sighs> Tomorrow, I'm taking the rest of this copper in, getting rid of it. Getting rid of it should be about, I think I was at 1770. Uh, but I want to take that copper in. I'm going to take these aluminum gutters in <coughs> probably break that wheel off get rid of that take this aluminum in got a little bit of brass to take in and I'm probably gonna take these ACRs apart and take the rads in and then uh, come back and see what I can get loaded up for steel for a uh, Monday get rid of that Monday Dang. I don't know if you can see that cobweb. It's right there. It goes right across. All the way across. Crazy ass spiders. He's up there hanging out. Chilling. So that'll be uh, pretty much my day today. I'm just going to take this cover off. Pull that little bit of stuff out of there. I'm not breaking them down like I usually do. So I'll get this cleaned up out here. Oh, we still got decent weather. Ooh. I'm going to flip that over and throw it on the ground. <coughs> so, yesterday I uh, oh, finished up all the bear bright that I had to do. I don't have much brass in there. So I got all that done and then I started working on that garbage can and that garbage can. Both have wire in that is strippable. So, have a couple little pieces in there, and then whatever's in here, some appliance wire and stuff. So, that's stainless steel in there. Refinery ends. I think that's empty though. That has odds and ends shit in. Most of that's going to go into shred. Um, these here, I'm just going to take these <coughs> power modules off. That can all go into shred. Most of these have. No. This is all just pretty much garbage. Get rid of that. Get rid of that chain. That microwave. I don't take microwaves apart. <sighs> so, got the van back last night. So, we'll get this handle. Get this loaded up today for tomorrow. And, uh,. Oh yeah, I got all that wire. I gotta go through from my uh, neighbor down the street. Start getting some of this crap out of here. I said a lot of it's gonna just go to the shred pile. I'm not even gonna mess with it. Get this place cleaned out. Cleaned out. Yeah, if I have time at the end of the day, I'll um, <clears throat> clean up these uh, heat sinks. There's a bunch in these two buckets. There's Two buckets there full. Um, those under there have the copper centers, like over there. So maybe I'll press those out. We'll see. See how tired I get. See how tired I get. Now I gotta get the compressor back in the hole over there. Get some stuff cleaned out. This uh, wire even discombobulated this square thing. See how it's on an angle. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, wait a minute. 
Yeah. So kind of <clears throat> a lot of tension on there. So oh, about this wire, they dropped the price from 230 to 210. Still not going to make enough money uh, to have a decent profit. So I'm going to pass on that wire. Um, I'm actually enjoying doing the big uh, transformers, and I used to hate transformers. So yeah, I'll just stick with that. But I want to get this whole area here cleaned up because I want to start doing those motors. Um, line up some barrels on this side here. But I think I have three. I think I have three barrels of motors there that have to be done. Yeah, white one, blue one, white one. That black one is about half full of transformers. That one there is something. I don't remember. Oh, I know what that is. It's the uh, the aluminum end caps off the motors that have to be cleaned for cast aluminum. Well, I need to find a, a rake here because I want to go through here. But you gotta you gotta wave the rake. If you get hooked up in a web, you'll never get out. <laughs> never get out. I wanted to go through these buckets, but I didn't get time for trash day uh, yesterday. And I had a couple of broken totes I threw out in the street, and I guess I missed the boat, guys, because they were still there at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So, I want to get rid of probably about half of those. And I want to get rid of probably that stack and that stack. Just keep these. I think I'm just going to keep the ones that are Home Depot, Menards. Because um, I got enough of this crap. And I can go to... They say if I need more, I can always go to scrap here and get more. It's not a big deal. And then a lot of these totes I'm going to get rid of. Because I got these things piled everywhere. Don't need all that. These are all going to go to shred. My mind's made up. I'm not pulling the brass off of those. I'm not losing anything, but... <clears throat> The amount of time it took me to put them in the van from the scrapyard because I got them for free. Ugh. Got a couple of these big cans that are going to go in the scrapyard because the bottoms are cracked on them. Don't want them. And probably one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, ten, twelve, twelve. Probably about fifteen milk crates we're gonna go. Don't need all these damn milk crates either. Don't need any of this crap. See how like I said I got buckets over here. Totes over here. Too much. Too much. And winter's gonna be coming. And I'm not gonna be out here digging in a mountain of snow looking for a bucket or a tote. And then it's frozen with water, and then when you break the ice out of it, it's cracks and then it's garbage and ugh the life I lead <laughs> and I gotta get these things out of here too I say those two came in the other day so that one's aluminum that one's a normal one have a coke and a smile you guys come over here and hang out on my porch at night leave their trash so the van came back yesterday Smell like a cigarette factory. Because both of the guys smoke. Leave all the trash in here. Man. They treat me bad. Treat me bad. I don't know why that handle's turned. That's kind of probably from throwing stuff on it. Just, I asked him what this was. He said garbage. Oh, yeah. Hey, nothing but garbage. Let's throw all that right here. Oh. Yeah, see, I had some of my plastics in the garbage. Threw it all in a can. One in here. Get rid of I'm going to open that window. I got to clean all this out for tomorrow. Hey, I got a free pen. Look at that. Johnston Supplier.
That's a uh, HVAC company supply house. I used to, uh, when I worked for the uh, property investor people, they used to go there and get all their stuff. <sighs> Alright, so I guess that's about it. The uh, big wire is going to be a bust. Uh, so, I don't have to worry about that. It's always fun to do it, though. Even though I lost a little bit on it, it's alright. Just add that to that barrel. There's 325 pounds of bright wire between that and this here. And it's like 345 a pound. So it's like uh, $1,100. $1, just bare bright. And just the bare. And like I said, most of that wire I took out of that transformer. We'll go in here with this stuff. And this is number one. There's some more bright wire over there. I don't know if I added that in or not. Hmm. I don't know if I did or not. So the scale is cool, but it don't stay on very long. And I don't know if there's a setting to uh it says hold and set up, so let me see. There's gotta be a way to keep it on longer than it does. Yeah, yeah. <whistles> configuring. I don't know what's configuring. Ugh. What's it doing? It ain't doing nothing. It ain't doing nothing. Oh well. I'll have to uh, hook up the company and see how you can uh, get it to stay on a little longer. Get all this cleaned up too. A lot to do. A lot to do. So that's it. Uh, what is this? That looks like number two. There we go. So. Uh, yeah. I'm good. I'm starting to sound like HH Recycling. There's a fancy light. Kind of got that nautical theme. I'm going to nautical theme it right to the shred pile. Right to the shred pile. Oh, there's another piece of that copper. So, but this stuff here is like really light. Really light. Hey, Ian Matthews, how many times have you seen this bucket in this video? Asking for a friend. Alright, so I don't know what that's doing. It says exit. Did I break it? I probably broke it. Go to zero. Okay. I ain't broke it. So, oh, there's a bucket of wire back there, too. Alright, guys, so that's it. Appreciate y'all. Stay safe. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to clean up my mess and start figuring out how I want to load this van and I want to get those barrels out of there first so I'll use my handy dandy lift for that I actually um before I go I put that big transformer on here you know wheeled it out here so I was like eye level with it when I was cutting it with the saw so it worked out perfect and I got a little bit of this I gotta clean off of that thing so once again appreciate y'all stay safe keep doing what you're doing I'll talk to you later